I want to give you a brief introduction to my upcoming online course I call How to Drive Your Own Life. Maybe you've heard me mention that on an average we'll spend about 45 million minutes alive on this planet. You can do the math. That's about 85 plus or minus years. Some of us will have more, some will have less. 45 million seems like a very big number when you're only on your first 5 million or so. That's about 10 years old. I remember it seemed absolutely infinite at about 10 million. We were all bulletproof in our late teens, right? It seems a fact, though, that once one of these minutes has passed us, it's gone for good. I've not figured a method for recovering it. Whether it's a painful minute we're glad to be rid of, or a joyful minute we regret can't go on, it's gone. I spent most of my life since about 10 million minutes involved in motorsports. I've been a driver, I've been a co-driver, I've been an organizer in high-speed rallying for over 40 years, and I've learned this. In the car, you're either working the controls or you're a passenger. Now, being a passenger can be an exciting and rewarding place to be. Especially if you're being driven by a talented, present driver. That's the essence of what co-drivers in rally cars do. They ride and advise like a golf caddy. Except, the consequences can frequently be much more costly. The guy in charge, however, on whose skill all success or failure truly rests, is the driver. He has the wheel in his hands, guiding the direction of the car. He has the accelerator and clutch and brake pedals at his feet, adjusting the speed and attitude of the car at all times. For him not to be present and open to information coming from his co-driver can spell total disaster at any moment. If he lets go of any of those controls, then the car is going to do whatever physics tells it to do, and he reverts to being a passenger in a 3,200-pound missile flying down the road. You have 45 million minutes, minus however many have already passed you by. What could you do with your life from this point on if you were driving the remaining minutes as opposed to riding as a passenger? How to Drive Your Own Life is my new online course launching in January. It's a step-by-step -step program detailing the difference between maximizing each and every moment of your remaining minutes in ways that serve your highest aspirations and rumbling along stuck in the passenger seat in a life guided only by your past messages and limitations. I urge you to stay tuned. You'll be receiving information and special links to pre-release material and I truly value your feedback. So for your remaining minutes in your life, driver or passenger, it truly is your choice. I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity. Mm.